Hi guys, this is Rebecca with Mompreneurs of the Central Valley. I'm so excited today because I get to interview my little brother, Joshy. I've always called him Joshy, but he gets mad at me. So here, Mr. Josue Cardenas, Cardenas, welcome to the show. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Oh, good. Can I call you Joshy throughout the interview or must I say Josue? I'm more professional. I prefer Josue, you know? Okay. <laughs> okay, Josue. Um, so... I'm going to talk to you about what you've been up to lately, about your business. Um, you've been so busy, so busy that you can't even take out your sister to lunch. So I want to know what you've been up to. So I have no choice but to schedule an interview with you and see what, what, what you're up to. So can you tell me what is your business and um, what do you do, what your business is called? And you tell me. Well... My business, I teach quinceañeras, flacorico dancing, and it's called, you can find me on Instagram, it's called Osoy's Latin Dance Choreography. Okay. And I've been really busy lately, yeah, like, like you said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of nervous. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, I've just been really busy lately, I have a lot of books. Okay. Um, I've been booked, I'm booked all summer. Like, yeah. really booked. Yeah. Booked. It's coming up, a lot mm -hmm. of performances that people request. Mm, okay. So just to be clear, so you are a dance instructor and yes. you offer quinceanera, uh, you offer dancing services or choreography for um, quinceaneras for yeah. weddings or like birthdays or just like special events. You know how to do Mexican choreography. That's right. All right. So where, where did you learn to dance? Well, I started dancing in middle school. Okay. I didn't really but when I'm what teacher, middle school did you go to? Uh, I went to Kasner. Okay. Middle school. Mm -hmm. one, he's like, you should get into dancing. But you know me, I was like, no, I didn't want to. But mm -hmm. I got into it, and then I enjoyed it. And then from there, I just started liking dancing. So from wait, there, wait, 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 wait. Who told you to get into dancing? Oh, uh, Mr. Moreno from. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And we went to the same school, so I'm like trying to figure yeah. it out. Okay. Uh -huh. And he's like, yeah, you should do dancing. I'm like, oh, I'll try it out. You know, I'll give it a shot. And then the first day, you know, I liked it. I'm like, this is cool. You know, this is for me. I was kind of good at it. Yeah. And during the time, when I got to high school, I started doing it in high school until, like, senior year. And then after that, I'm like, you know what? I want to keep dancing. Mm -hmm. So, eventually, mm -hmm. you know what? I want to start my own business. I love doing quinceañeras. I love going to the parties. I like mm -hmm. seeing people, you know, come together for their culture. Mm -hmm. Do this party for all the Yeah, you like you like to represent our culture, and I, I appreciate yeah. that from you. But you didn't keep your Spanish that well, but at least you represent our culture, though. <laughs> Through dance. <Yeah. laughs> We're going to have to, um, I'm going to do this interview in Spanish later for the people who, who want to hire you. Because mostly it's the our, the Mexican population that wants to do and hire people like you to teach them about the quinceañeras and stuff. And then you, um, so after Kasner, then you went to Clovis West. And mm -hmm. then Clovis West, the entire time that you, um, that you were there, all of high school, I went there too. Um, and I went, I was a dancer there too. And I'm so glad that you did it too. We had the same teachers. Um, so you, um, so I love sharing that with you, that we can share that experience with the same teachers also, sort mm -hmm. of, right? So you had, um, we had uh, who, Mr. Bustos? Yeah. He was one of For a while. Okay. And then other instructors, Richard, is he still there? He's still there, yeah. He's still there, okay. And then you also did an after-school dance program. What was that one called? Uh, I did it for a little bit, and okay. then I was, it was an off and on thing. So, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I didn't really like. I liked it and all that, but I feel like it wasn't for me. Yeah. Because I want to do my own like dances and throw in my own styles in it. Yeah, like you were eager to create yeah. your own choreography. Oh well, let me just start my own thing. Let me do mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what's cool? I just want to throw it out there that um, all of our family, like we all went to the same school, high school, and uh, we all, most of us, majority of us, because there's 10 siblings, we have 10 siblings. Yeah. And so a good chunk of us got into dance, folklorical dancing. And we're a family of dancers. We're, we're, we're Mexicanos and we love to dance. And on my single days, you were always my partner. I was forced you to be my partner. And <laughs> you're good. You're good. <laughs> I have to tell you, girls, that the girls, if you're listening to this, um, if you're a dancer, if you go to the bailes, if you like to Latin dance, whether it's corridos 
or rancheras or salsa or merengue or cumbia, all of those, you need a good leader. And in, in Latin dancing, right, Joshi, like it's important for the guy to know how to lead. And yeah. it's important for the girl to know how to follow like your prompts, right? Like your, your cues, like, sure. okay, you know, without saying anything, you know how to move the girl around, you know, and put your hands in the right spots and, um, you know, and kind of like lead her around the dance floor. So not everybody knows how to do that. And so I think that's really cool that you've always known how to do, do that. So when we do like family events, it's all, I always tell everybody, tell Josh to dance with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or when I take my friends, I always tell I always tell you, go dance with my friends now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> they're so good and they enjoy it, you know. Mm. Um, but anyway, so I just li I like what you're doing here. Um, so if somebody were to hire you to because they have a, let's say, a quinceanera. And um, how many, do you just teach one song or do you blend a few songs? Or how no. long, how long is the, the, the baile? Or what do you call it, the, the waltz or Mexican waltz? Surprise dances. Okay. So once I meet up with a client, I talk to them and they tell me how many dances they actually want and they're keeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's, they could put five, six, they could pick 10 if they want to, I don't mind. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's it just depends on how many songs the client wants for yeah. the, for the king to. Okay. Okay. But, so it could well, be a long dance. Yeah, it could be a long dance. It could be dances for like three minutes, two minutes. Wow. Yeah. And so you are the instructor. You do the choreography. Um, and the costumes are so beautiful. If nobody's ever seen folklorico dancing, it's so beautiful. You know, can you explain to us like what folklorico is? Like exactly. Bacorico is Mexican culture dancing. Okay. And yeah. I got it. I really like that. So that's why I brought it into the Quinta business too. Yeah. For to know what it's like to feel to dance in Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's really good because every time I do, I teach a Quinta, they're like, oh, I didn't know this region. Or I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So I know like the, the sound quality is not that well, but it's, I forgot to tell you to wear air, right. the AirPods. Sorry. But, uh, yeah. I'll do captions and then I'll see if I can fill in the missing information on, on our description. Um, but um, yeah, so that's so cool. I can see how like passionate you are. And I just, I've always been impressed with you that you keep doing it because it's such a healthy thing to do. And when you do the performances, when I've seen your videos, it's like so beautiful. It always takes me back and I'm like, oh, I want to go get into my folklorico dress. And, you know, it's, it's so beautiful. The, the outfits, the dresses, the guy's outfits and the way you choreograph it, um, do the choreography. It's so, so pretty. It's just so beautiful, the performance. And so you do like for um, quinceaneras, um, you've done for weddings. Yeah, wedding. and you have done like surprise parties, like a surprise dance. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the services that you have. Yes. Okay, cool. And so, like, if somebody wants to hire you and say that you know it's a girl that's a quinceanera, she's going to turn, um, you know, fifth. Is it fifteen? Yeah, fifteen. Yeah, Amer American is sweet sixteen, and then Spanish or Mexican is quinceanera fifteen. Okay. <laughs> So if she doesn't have like a partner, would you be able to provide that? Yeah, I have yeah. Chum and damas too as well. Okay. So if doesn't have their own, they just tell me and I'll, I could get people for them. Okay. So um, it cut off a little bit, but what he said is that he has chambalanes, which are uh, male dancers, and then damas, ladies, that are the girl dancers. And so you can, you can provide... Um, one couple, two couples, three couples, four couples, five. Yeah, as many uh, as you Whatever they need, whatever they want. Yeah. And so all of them, so they're your employees um, and you've, you've, uh, they work for you. Mm -hmm. And so you, um, you are the one that arranges the choreography and you're the one talking to the clients directly. Right. Okay. And then you're doing meetups with them and then you go talk to them and ask them, what is it that, you know exactly what their vision is or what it is that they want mm -hmm. right okay and then you also provide um you have the costumes yeah they need and... to provide that yeah okay they want to get their own they could okay do... okay so super flexible yeah yeah 
And then have you ever done like salsa or merengue or like the things like oh, that? Salsa, it's a rare thing. Not that many people request it nowadays. Mm -hmm. The era right now is mostly tribal, huapango, you know, zapateado, pegado. Oh, so those are the popular stuff. Right now. That's what people are like requesting. Well, bachata is popular still. Oh, so bachata, yeah. Cumbia. I miss dancing so bad. The pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I miss dancing. I, I think I'm I'm gonna need your help eventually because I need I'm so rusty. And I'm sure I think a lot of us dancers, people that used to dance or like dancing, we really miss the environment. So, you know, I think with um maybe like you know, the like the outside world is opening up again and with you know, with the possibilities of making like family you know, events or, or parties is it's, it's around the corner. So I think right now it's a good time for you to um, talk about your services because, you know, it's the time people want to celebrate. We all, a lot of us had to cancel so many celebrations, you know, in the last year. And so right now it's a really, really good time to start, you know, I'm not like promoting it yet or anything, but when the time is appropriate and have you available to call and say, Hey, can you, um, do this choreography for me, or I want to do like a surprise dance for like, you know, my husband or my wife or my grandma or my mom or whatever. And it's like fun, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So where can we find like examples of your videos and like your performances? Actually on my Instagram. Okay. I, every Tuesdays and Thursdays I upload. Okay. Actually on my YouTube as well. You get there's a link in, uh, link in my bio. Okay, on on Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I am going to put it up there. There's a go. Follow Josue Latin Dance Choreography on Instagram, and on YouTube is where we can find all of your performances. And so, if people um, want to get a quote from you or kind of call, like, can they get a like a free consultation? Like, hey. I have this event coming up. Do you think you can do for this for me? And can you quote them a price over the phone? Yeah, I can actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. And then you'll be in communication with them and um, figure out what their needs are. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Thank oh you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And I saw that we, we recently, um, you recently re redid your Instagram page. Yeah. And so you're ready. It's, uh, it's ready for people to go in there, look at your content, uh, message you and uh, go uh, follow the link to your YouTube to look at your performances as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm so excited for you. We're going to keep in touch and I'm going to keep showing all of your videos off because I'm so proud of you. Of course, I'm your sister. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> no, we don't, right. you know, but I really appreciate what you're doing here. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for coming. I know you said that, you know, you were a little bit shy, but I think you did great. <laughs> so we're going to um, go ahead and close. And then I'm going to upload this to my Instagram, like a clip of it. And I'll also be posting this on my YouTube so people can see the whole interview. And I'm going to post um, the links to um, your YouTube and to your Instagram. So if people want to hire you, they could just follow you right into your accounts. All right, that's fine. Perfect. Sounds All good. right. Is there anything else that you want to say or you're good? Thank you, actually, for your Aww. support and uh, for your business for helping me out here. I didn't know I, I could do all this stuff on Instagram and Facebook. It's re I really didn't know. I'm yes. really it's and okay. I'm starting to. We're figuring it out together. So <laughs> contact her. Yeah. Thank you. Yay. All right, Joshie.